Welcome back friend, your weekly wealth attraction video. We're going to look at October 13th to the 19th. Something to really take into consideration is that the only time the transiting system is of benefit to us is when we are using our inner authority and our strategy to guide us. The moment that the mental plane is trying to be the inner authority, then we can consider that to be conditioning. I only want you to use this information and utilize it through your own strategy and authority. That is the most important aspect of the human design system and your weekly wealth attraction process. So let's take a look at what's happening starting on the 13th. As I said last week, there is a massive support here for you to start your own business, if it is correct for you. The fuel that is provided, this ambitious fuel that is provided, allows for the capitalism aspect of your particular natal chart to be enhanced. And through that, you can gather the support that is necessary for your business enterprise. Again, only if it is correct for you, only if you're being moved there through your strategy and authority. The awareness piece, 61 and 24. 24 has been bouncing back and forth numerous different times. However, 61 has been here in and out of um, through through Pluto through the Pluto activation it has been in and out of that 61st gate since 2018 and it will continue to bring us into 2021 what are the awareness pieces that you need to bring to a business right now what is the awareness that needs to be brought in to capitalism, enterprise, at this moment. This is going to happen through your natal chart. Whatever it is that you actually are here to align with, your particular purpose-driven wealth formula that is built right into your human design body graph. That's your unique aspect what needs to be brought to awareness through you. Hence the reason the transiting system is supporting and empowering us to stand in our own businesses right now and bring this awareness to the public so that they can be empowered to maybe start their own enterprise, empowered to maybe start a brand new relationship, I have no idea what that empowerment piece is going to, can, going to happen through you, but you will know based off of your natal chart. So how can we empower through initiation? That's what the transits are asking us. How can we empower through initiation? How can we deliver to our own tribe? What does that look like for you? There's going to be a lot of confusion that's happening on our planet at this moment. People are confused as to the experiences that they're witnessing on social media or the internet versus the actual experience that they're having in their life. There is a massive disconnect for the most part. And that is all built in to the global orchestrated directory. We are in this aspect of delusion right now. So how can we bust out of that delusion and that confusion and come to a place of awareness on the new capitalistic plane that is emerging for us? Six line day, six line days are the best days to absolutely understand how to function correctly. So go back to your, your natal human design chart. 
how are you designed to to function correctly in amongst all of this energy how can you be graceful in this new mutative energy and how are you utilizing your own intuitive insight what kind of cycles are closing for you right now are you closing off a cycle so that you can start a brand new business or are you blending in are you going to take some courses so that starting 2021 you can step into your own enterprise all things to consider as we move forward this week so confusion becomes another focal point as the moon continues to go through confusion is actually really healthy for us because it gets us to go a little bit deeper into an experience find out why we had the experience what what worked what didn't work in our businesses and for us to to dive a little bit deeper now again here we are and most of the capitalistic energy is highlighted so what are the skills and talents that you actually already have what are those experiences that you already have had in life that you could bring to a business that you could show in a new capitalistic way first line days continuity and maturation first line days is really indicating to us study this go back into your experiences use that confusion to your benefit go back look at those experiences how can you repackage them and bring them to other people that also have some confusion around life experiences what was the awareness that you pulled out of all of those experiences and then you get to utilize that in a way that's healthy for everyone. What is the realization that, that has had to come into fruition? What is that realization that's come in for you to start your own business? Or maybe it's a career change. Maybe it's as simple as that. And then what are those allegiances that need to be enhanced? What kind of barriers do you have up right now? And maybe there is a second chance for or a third chance for that barrier to be mm, challenged so that you can see things in a different light. So for me, I'm a third line being. Things need to bump, be bumping into me at least three times because it all depends on the timing. So what timing are you looking at? And now we're looking at a second line day of this cross of the Maya. How are we building this Maya? Is it healthy? Is it actually helping people? Are we utilizing the mutative energy on this, on, throughout these transits that have been here all year long are we actually utilizing it to enhance humanity or not so second line days is are you being called out are you being called out to share your awareness to start your own business these are all things to consider and what is the determination what are you being really determined about what is the serendipity that's going to happen on the 14th to present to you a whole new outlook. What is that serendipity of how you're going to be called out to continue on, to use that thread of the experiences that you've already had, repackage them and present them so that you can cut ties with those old cycles and come to a place of awareness. The 18 is all about correcting 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 again you're being called out what are those patterns that need to be corrected so that you can stand in your own enterprise are you being initiated correctly 
Are you using your strategy and authority so that that mutative energy can work through you or not? And now the 18, the 18 is seeing all these things that need to be corrected and the 48 gathers a whole bunch of them this gate of depth so what are can we use what is the universe sharing with us all of those energetic frequencies that need to have a correction so that humanity can move forward what are some brand new solutions that you and I are designed to bring so that we can enhance the capitalism on this planet. The 48 gathers, just like the 44. It gathers and it gathers and it gathers information and then releases the potential of that out into humanity. And we pop back here, the 57 comes back into our awareness. The 57 is all about that intuitive insight. So now that you've seen all these patterns for the last few days, you've gathered the insight of it. Now intuitively, how can you apply it to your life? How can you apply it to your business? Again, all based off of your inner authority. Third line day. These are days where we discover. So really what is it costing you to to let the mind operate your life and what is the price you're paying for not being in alignment that's usually what third line days will provide us provides us with the trial and error what works what doesn't work and to stick with what works with this continuity and to let go of what doesn't work in that 42. So again, capitalism, capitalism, and what is it that works and what doesn't work? Continuing on with what works and then influencing others based off of all of the discovery that has happened over the last few days, over the last year, over the last two years. And being able to bring that into your business and provide those solutions for those that require it. And the 50 is all about education, influence through education, fourth line day, excellent day to influence people on how they can bring a massive amount of education. The 28, what kind of risks? What kind of risks are you willing to take? What are you realizing about the risks? What is your awareness about the risks? What kind of risks do we need to take in capitalism? And what kind of risks are associated with this initiation into a whole new mutative energy? There's lots of risks. Are they correct for you or are they not correct for you? What is influencing you to stand in your empowered individuality? Just take a look around, see what's happening. Again, here we are, the 44, massive focus on capitalism. The whole month of October, capitalism, capitalism, capitalism. And now how can you bring your creative muse to your endeavor? What is your own branding? What is your own marketing? What are your unique profitable solutions? So that you can bring and associate breakthroughs for people. That's what they want. That's really what they want. So let's just pop back here one, because on a fifth line day, that's fifth line days. Those are the days that you're going to meet strangers and you're going to meet them based off of this capitalistic, creative self-expression.
And again, this breakthrough. So what is the breakthrough that you need to understand how to function correctly for yourself? What are some of those breakthroughs that you're bringing for other people so that they can come to a realization? They've been sitting in confusion just as, just as others have been through the transiting. So how can they come to a realization? What are those solutions so that they can pop into their own breakthrough? So we have a very, very powerful week here of looking at capitalism through a whole new set of eyes. And then how to be really, how to be of service. That's what the 14 really does. It's this, this possession in great measure but what it's fundamentally bringing is how to be of service, how to use your energy correctly so that you can be of service to other people. And on a six line day, how can you be of service so that people can really function correctly? How do you bring that service to capitalism? How do you initiate others through your service? How do the mutative energies show up? through your service. All things to be taking a look at as we walk through this whole entire week. Is there a lot? Yeah, there is. There's always a lot. The moon flies around pretty quickly, but it's bringing us a, a driving force on how we can take a look at all of this energy. And then are you standing in your own personal power? This one's a big one for me. This one um, this is all about my future direction, helping people stand in their own personal power. And I do that by creative solutions. So are you standing in your own personal power? Are you utilizing your inner authority and your strategy to guide you on this plane and, and let you know, ha, ah, this is the correct business or not? and you're being initiated, we are all being initiated right now to a place of awareness. So what is the awareness that is showing up for you? What is the awareness that's been showing up for you for all of 2020? For me, it is deeply, deeply bringing me a deep sense of really being able to step into the reality that is right in front of of my eyes. The only perspective that I know is truthful to me is what I see out of my eyes when I am correct and I'm using my own strategy and authority. It's not about what's happening on the internet. It's not about ha what's happening anywhere else. It's about what I am experiencing. And that awareness is that satisfaction has to come through my cellular structure and then all of the wealth that I deserve will be provided to me when I just sit in satisfaction. There doesn't have to be any mental confusion around it or mental dis disarray around it. It just has to just allow it to happen through my cells. And I hope that same thing is happening for you as well. So when we take a look and we move forward into the, the 19th, what are we focusing in on? What, what is it that needs to be focused in on? Now we all of a sudden, we move into a whole brand new first line process. Values. What values are you focused in on? And what what is that ordering of that value? What mutation do your values bring? And with that focus, can you focus in on those values and use that mutative energy to present your business? And again, study it, know it, get to know it. What are your values? What is your educative values? What is the intellect that you're designed to represent? Again, go back to your natal body graph. It's all written in your activations. And let's 
close off the the weekly forecast with fixed rhythms. We're designed to be in our own flow, our own timing. You're not missing out on anything. I just want you to see what the influences are. If your body does not move you in the direction of any of this, it is okay. Just witness it. Watch what's happening on the planet. I would, I would venture to guess that there's probably hundreds of thousands of people starting businesses right now. And some of them, it's not going to be correct because they're doing it through conditioning. Others are doing it based off of the influence that's happening in the transits and the correct alignment to their strategy and authority. So in saying all of this, just an FYI, my Purpose Driven Wealth Formula program is going to be up and running on November 1st, which allows you to take 16 weeks to align to your design in whole new ways so that you can see your profitable solutions that you're here to bring, so that you can market yourself in a whole new way, and so that you can walk away with a system with a whole new system of how to see yourself and be able to sell and influence others through the correctness of self. All right, friends, until next week, take care.